Okay, here's the next version of the poker program. I've been writing. Look, these are the cards that, that are loaded into the program. They're just PNG files, like normal photo files, right? Basically, I've downloaded off the internet. And this is the program over here. I just want to show you that the functions I use for establishing what what hand or best hand a player is holding is from that import up there called iter tools. And what's in there is this function called most common. And uh, it's called from here, the evaluate hand function. See, I've just done a bit of debugging here to find out what's going on, what's all these print things are. It just prints them out on the console window, not on the Pi game screen. But, uh, there you go, see, most common one and naught, that means a pair. And then it says here, most common one naught, and these, these are just the arguments you pass through to it. What what it what it does is it, it calls this function here first, then passes the then gets the values of these, the data from here counter, which is what's up here import counter, which uses these uses the tools function as well. Right, anyway. I'll just show you what I mean. They do actually work. They do. You can establish both the player's and the computer's best hand. He's got a tile. But at the end, sorry. <laughs> so there we go. There's the board. It's much the same, really, as before. So we just go into the hand and say, let's start it off. I'll just check from now on. It allows me to do that. No matter what, and the computer bet, and I can still check. That's just a formality which I will change as I go along. There we go. So, computer has a straight. I have a pair. So I've got a pair of kings. So I haven't got anything with these two, so it's my best is a pair of kings, but he's got straight looks. See? 9, 10, jack, queen, king. So he wins that one. Okay, let's go back here. So, so what it does is the evaluate hand, it just goes through from the best hand you can get. To the lowest, which is a high card basically. So if it's a royal flush, it checks that it's a straight and all the same suit, which is another function I've written myself down here, which is very simple. It's like it passes suits into there, and if they're all the same, then it returns true, otherwise, it returns false. Very straightforward, really. And then it checks if it's a straight flush. If it, if, oh, by the way, if it it jumps out, it's like best first jumps out the function. Function evaluate hand. It also sorts them first as well, which is a very handy function. I think that's from it to tools actually. Sorted. Yes, it is. That's from it to tools. And um, yeah, so it goes down. One is the best. Royal, royal straight, i.e., royal flush. Check if straight flush. Check, check if it's a straight, i.e., it's in here. If it's in there, then it's a straight. As you can see, it's royal straight, it's 10, 11, 12. But they're the values from 10 up to jack is 11, queen is 12, king is 13, and ace is 14. Their values that, are, that I've assigned to them. The value of the best, you know, from the 2 to the 14, which is 
Nice. And uh, obviously it's got to be all the same suit as well as in up here. And it also checks to make sure it's it's not one. Ace is not used as a one. I.e., if it is, then it's a straight as well. But that what that will do is because they're sorted, it'll put them in that order. Right, two, three, four, five, fourteen. So that's why I've got to put it in that order because it, it organizes them in order for the highest, lowest to the highest, and then converts it to a string. Then I have to compare the, the string, and of course it's got to be the same suit as well. So that will return trip two. As I say, these are just debug things I made sure, I'm trying to make sure that it does actually do it. Because before I put all this stuff in, which was in the function on the internet, I got the most common for, most common function from it. And this gave an error. And this was in there. It just gave an error. So I, I commented them out and just passed the whole array in as it was. And it worked. So. See, I'll just change value order equals sorted value order. So now value order is the sorted um, array, basically. So that's where the, the C string is. It's made like this. It, it concatenates a string for each integer value from value order, because value order is not an array of size 5. So, um, yes, yeah, so it never. Check it for of a kind, most common value. If I is like that's what it returns for from the function most common, then it's there's four of them. It's found that there are four all the same value in the value order. So it prints for, then it jumps out with a three, checks it full house. And this is an interesting one because you can pass two values. You can get two values from there. Most common one. Most common two. I most common one is the most common. Most common two is the second most common. So if, if those two values are three and two of a five card hand that's been passed to it, because that's what it's doing here, so it's only going to be five maximum, then obviously it's a full house. So it returns four. And then it Flushes obviously all the same suit, no matter what it, no matter what value they are. Straight, as in same sort of thing up here, except it's going to be a straight without without the checking of the flushes. And ten six, check it three of a kind. If it's like I one, i.e. from here, I most common is three, i.e. most common has an iterance. An amount of three, then there are three of them in there. So that's it, and that's um, that's that. And then it checks if there's two pairs. So again, a one, a b one, because I've already done those there. A one is two. A one is two. So it's two pairs as opposed to three, two up here. And check if it pair. If A1 is equal to 2, then there's a pair. So it jumps out from the lowest, the, the highest, down to the lowest. And if none of those are true, then it just returns 10. I there's a high card there. And that's what it does for all the different combinations of a five card hand you can have using two the two cards in the hand both the player and computers, and three of the other cards that are on the table, three of the five at the end. So it goes through all of them, iterates through all the combinations, which aren't that many really. It's only that bit there, but it just goes down to there. And each time it calculates the best. So if the current best, if the current hand value is less than the current best, then it will set that equal to it. It will pass the, the values of each of each of the one to check the values of which are 
finish at the later date to compare the best two pairs, the best three of a kind, etc. etc. And then it, also, then it displays player has this, player has this, and you coming down here like that, see? And then it'll ask you to press it. Click on the screen anywhere to go for the next hand, and then it calculates who won. If they're the same as it stands, then pot shared. But obviously, it's going to need a little another bit of check here to establish who's got the best pair, who's got the best three of a kind, best straight. Royal flush will be equal. Regardless, I'm not I'm not doing the suits. There is a suit hierarchy, but most of the time in poker that doesn't apply, so I'm not going to bother with that. And then we'll just go on to the next hand. So go back to here, and uh, play again. However, this is this is the floor. There's another there's another error in the program. If I raise it, then I bet go through the whole hand again. It won't compare the hands, which is wrong. So that's that's a bug I've got to sort out. So I just click anywhere, but it works. It works pretty well. Fun the the comparing hands function works very well. As you can see, each player has a pair. Computer has a pair. Eight pair of eights. He's got a pair of jacks. So now, at this present moment, that pot will be split, as you can just see here. See? But he had a pair of jacks, and whereas I had a pair of eights, so strictly speaking, he should have won that. Well, he did win that. So that's another thing, like I said, in that, that function over here that I've got sorted out here. Where you compare the actual values in there. So that's another bit I've got to do. Okay, so uh, that's it. Thanks.